So the end of the year is here, which is quite a problem for us. Don't be surprised <laughs> that we act weird. We took a little break uh, from filming, which means this is our last video. We hope you enjoyed our channel. Cheers! Cheers! Hi guys! So the end of the year is here and we have New Year's Eve. Mm -hmm. We do. Which means this is our last video. Of the year. <laughs> yeah. 2020 wasn't such a bad year for us, despite everything that's been happening in the world. Because, as you know, we bought our country house at the end of last year. And then at the beginning of this year, I relearned how to drive. And we got our first car just in time uh, before the first quarantine started. Yeah, the timing was totally right. Yeah. So thanks to that, we were able to drive ourselves to our country house and enjoy outdoors and be in the garden even during the lockdown. Yeah, because it wasn't the best to use public transport. We weren't really able to travel this year, otherwise we would travel a lot. But we didn't miss it because of the country house. We were enjoying the outdoors there, the garden, and it was a really good summer, I would say. Yeah, because we had a new area to explore. Mm -hmm. So it was almost like traveling. We, we made a lot of day trips and we discovered new places, new lakes where we could swim, new forests and so on. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so lots of new places to discover. We didn't travel abroad just for one day <laughs> to Austria for a hike. Yeah, previous years we used to travel a lot or at least several times a year to different mm -hmm. countries. So that didn't happen this year, but as you said, we didn't really miss it because we also had a lot of work at the country house and I would feel bad leaving all that behind and traveling somewhere when I knew that there was so much work waiting for me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's New Year's Eve now. I don't know if you celebrate it in your country or how you celebrate it. Here it usually means a lot of parties mm -hmm. that involve drinking. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, sometimes people uh, rent a cabin in the mountains, for example, to go with their friends and they drink there again. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> um, and there are a lot of fireworks at midnight, so it resembles the 4th of July in the US, kinda. Mm -hmm. I think the fireworks and the drinking are the main things that represent the New Year's Eve. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that might be the same all over the world, actually. <laughs> uh -huh. In my case, I used to stay at home with my family and we watched a lot of TV and there was a lot of food uh, on the table from the morning until the evening. And uh, we were always excited as kids because that was the only day of the year when we could stay up late until after midnight. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you stay up late because you want to see the fireworks, they are at midnight and you want to experience the start of the new year. I used to go out with my friends in my late teens and early twenties, partying somewhere or we just stayed at someone's house and had a party there, so I liked it. But this year it's different because we have restrictions in place and we actually just found out that there will be a curfew uh, on New Year's Eve as well, that there will be no exception which means that after 9 p.m. you aren't supposed to be outside. Mm -hmm. Which is quite a problem for us, because <laughs> it's really interesting. Uh, I go to work every New Year's Eve. I'm off during Christmas while some of my colleagues are working and then we switch. So I usually work uh, on New Year's Eve, like every time, yeah. unfortunately. <laughs> but for me Christmas is more important, so I don't mind working on New Year's Eve. So what we do every year is that I go visit Peter at his work and we spend uh, the midnight together at his work. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I am the only person in the whole building, <laughs> so it's not difficult for Tommy to be there. Mm -hmm. Like no one questions it and it's actually allowed, like he could bring me food or something when I'm starving. I bring some food and uh, some games 
we played some games, right? Yeah, and we usually eat the rest of the Christmas cookies. Yeah. Like this is the last day when we eat them, yes. right? And then at midnight we climb up to the rooftop mm -hmm. and we watch the fireworks all around us because a lot of people do fireworks. Yeah, and it's great to see it from above happening in all the city mm -hmm. and the fireworks are everywhere. Not organized, so it's a mess, but it's still nice to look at. Yeah, and then around 1 a.m. or maybe 2 a.m. I go back home. Yeah, but this year there is this curfew from 9 p.m. till 5 a.m. in the morning. Yeah. You are not supposed to be outside mm -hmm. or something. So Tommy can come in the evening, but he would have to stay until morning. Yeah. Or he has to sneak out somehow. Yeah, which I don't want to do because I don't break laws. Yeah, but it's really close, my work, to our condo, so it wouldn't be that much of a big deal, like breaking this wall. Uh, what do you say, honey? We'll have to think of something. Yeah. And also, I'm not really sure if we would see any fireworks, because that would mean that other people cannot go outside. Like, they can be in their yard? <laughs> yeah, I guess. Plus, a lot of people don't follow the rules. Mm -hmm. So maybe there will be the same amount of fireworks as every year. Yeah, a lot of people don't respect these restrictions. I don't expect anything different mm -hmm. than other years. Yeah. But it wouldn't be so bad if there were no fireworks, because at least animals would get a break uh, this year yeah. and we would have fresher air mm -hmm. to breathe. That's true. We took a little break uh, from filming during the holidays, as we wanted to enjoy some uh, quality time together. Mm -hmm. Totally. So we at least put together a compilation of some deleted scenes that we collected over the year since we started filming. So we can at least enjoy that. Yeah, and it wasn't an easy task to do. <laughs> Tommy was the one that was looking for all the scenes. These ones, this is just part one, <laughs> and these ones uh, are from our first videos. Mm -hmm and we were really awkward then. <laughs> like, we are still very awkward, but it was much worse at the beginning. Yeah. We were re-watching some of the videos, and oh my god, we were afraid of the camera and everything. So, these scenes are from these videos at the beginning. Don't be surprised <laughs> that we act weird. Don't laugh. Don't laugh. <laughs> Just enjoy them and then you can tell us what you think about them. <laughs> but bear in mind, these were deleted for a reason. So they weren't that good, probably, or there was too much footage. Yeah, sometimes we film so much that we have to delete even stuff we would like to keep. Uh-huh, <laughs> yeah. Okay, so let's take a look at this awkward footage. <laughs> Guys, just for your information, uh, I want to tell you, I don't know what I'm doing with this video, so I'm shooting everything. Maybe it's too much, maybe it's too little. So tell us in the comment section below what you think of this and what I should and shouldn't shoot for you, okay? So it was really windy the last few days and we found out that one of the roof tiles got loose and uh, the wind blew it away from our roof and it broke down. So now we kind of have a hole in the roof. So we're going to check it out. Yeah, there, there is one missing and basically there is a hole in the roof. So we have to do something, but it's very hard to reach there. So we are here in the attic and when you look upwards there is the hole in the roof. So we have to do something about it. All right, I'm gonna inspect now. Wish me luck.
the hole is definitely there, <laughs> but it's quite narrow, so we have to put something in, I don't know what, we'll see. So I'm standing below the former hole in the roof. Peter was so smart that he figured out how to cover it up. We just found a random piece of junk uh, made of plastics uh, and uh, we were able to put it through the hole. So now it's kind of filled in. Uh, just in case it doesn't work, uh, we put here something uh, to hold the water in if it uh, rains inside. A simple bucket. Yeah, a bucket. So we'll see. Next time it rains, we'll know if it works or not. Today is my name day. I don't know if it exists in other countries, but basically my name is written in the calendar today for some reason. <laughs> and people celebrate that. I'm already receiving some messages with your name day, but it doesn't, doesn't really mean anything to me. So. Happy name day! Yay! Hey, buddy! Look, there is a dog that came onto our property. There is a hole in the fence, which I have to repair now because we don't want him coming here. Oh, okay. Okay, I'm coming. So Tommy just called me from the house that the lunch is ready. Let's go eat. Honey, tell us what we are having for lunch. We're having a lot of potatoes and tempeh. As every traditional couple. Mmm, looking forward to it. I'm already hungry. Enjoy. Yum, I love it. This is quite a sad view. It happened because in the recent years it was very dry and then bark beetles did the rest and all the trees had to be cut down to stop spreading the bark beetles. So as you can see nothing was left here. So we just got some serious news regarding the virus that everyone knows about. Our friend is supposed to come uh, for a visit for six days in an hour or so. He's an American traveling from France to Vienna and from Vienna by train to Brno, to our city. And they are closing the borders tomorrow uh, to Austria and Germany. So we'll see how this turns out, right? Yeah. No, no one knows really, but yeah, it's quite serious. So I'm preparing a virus party. <laughs> so guys, here we are at our country house. Uh, these two houses are ours. They are really old. And here we have our American Special guest friend. star. And he will react to what he sees here. Johnny, react. <laughs> there is a cat sitting there and watching us. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Run. Uh, <laughs> Again? <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> Should we switch? Should I go to the US? We can start <laughs> this is where we grow our vegetables. Oh wow, nice! The chairs fell over. Again? It was windy. It's always windy here. That wasn't here last time. I was... <laughs> The spading, is there a word? Spading? It's like when you, when you work the soil? That, I was doing that. <laughs> and here we have like onions, garlic, spinach, spinach already planted. Cool! And this is where we sit and do nothing. Love it. <laughs> Love it. 
uh, but we switch or we take the chairs wherever with us. <laughs> Depends where people are. We go away from them. <laughs> now that the trees are planted, we have to take care of them from the beginning. It will save us time later. So we need to chop them off. <laughs> some parts only. Some branches. We need to make them shorter depending uh, on how we want the tree to look in the future. So I'm thinking I'll cut it for now, maybe somewhere here or even here. What do you think? Where do you want the tree to start? Yeah, I have no idea, but... I'll do it here, okay? Sounds good, okay. There we go. Okay, that was it. Aww. This is my third week working from home. Uh, I'm not really complaining. <laughs> I, I like working from home better than from the office. So uh, it hasn't really been a big change for me. We are on a lunch break now. Yeah. If you are wondering what we are doing here, when Tommy is telling you that he is working, when actually we are here on the walk. So this is a lunch break. Yeah. Yum. And I'm home, not working. Just waiting for my shift to come and it will be in a week and a half because uh, we had a visit for our friend so I don't want my colleagues at work to be scared that I could be infected so I'm waiting at home. Yeah, everybody's panicking. Yeah, we are all affected by this. And I remember at the time I uh discovered my passion for traveling and uh, I remember telling Peter that I had nobody to travel with and he told me the same so we started organizing uh, a trip a weekend trip for the two of us to Budapest in Hungary yeah we were texting to each other every day do you remember the the app what was it oh, yeah we used we used MSN to Chat. Good times. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I remember in Budapest I was showing Peter for the first time how to withdraw money from an ATM. Because <laughs> he's such a baby. <laughs> yeah. He didn't know anything about the world. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was really fascinating for me to see. But we have to go back to the city tomorrow because Peter has to go back to work. No. Finally. I don't want to go. I will finally have some alone time as well after like three or four weeks, something like that. Do I love being kissed in public? <laughs> Do you? No, he doesn't. Because you don't like when I show affection? It's not, it's not that I wouldn't uh, like to show affection, but I gen generally don't like drawing attention. So I don't like when, when other people look at me. It's not just uh, romantic stuff, not anything like that. Do you remember when we were in Las Vegas and you wanted to kiss in public? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. We found this aisle, this wedding aisle, uh, as you see in movies, with flowers and everything. And I wanted to take a picture under it, but Tommy was like, no, 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 <laughs> there were people around. Not many, just a few people, but that was enough for Tommy to say no. He doesn't want to do it, people will look at me and everything. And but we took it anyway at the end. Yeah. And it looked terrible. <laughs> it didn't look good at all. You have always these expectations, like you see a picture in a magazine and your photo will be like that for sure, but it isn't. <laughs> yeah. So that's it for this year. We hope you enjoyed our channel and we would like to wish you Happy New Year. Yeah, so Happy New Year. We hope it will be a good one for you all and see you guys in 2021. Cheers! Cheers! Cheers.